Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ratio notation to find the best buy of two or more offers. So we'll begin with this question here, where we have two apples for 52 pence, or three apples for 75 pence. So we'll begin by writing a ratio, and the ratio will be the number of apples to their cost, which in this case will be in pence. And our first offer is two apples for 52 pence. So we'll write this in our ratio, two apples and 52 pence. Our second offer is three apples for 75 pence. So we'll write this down here, three and 75. So now to compare these two offers, I need, I need, I need a common number of apples. So I'm going to choose one apple for each. So I've chosen one, because I can easily make these two apples into one by dividing two by itself. And when I do the same to the other side of a ratio, we see that one apple is worth 52 divided by two, 26 pence. And then in our other offer, we'll divide three by itself to make one. We'll do the same to the other side of our ratio. And 75 divided by three will give us 25 pence. So you can see it is better to choose this offer here because we are paying one pence less per apple. Okay, do you want to try question B? You can pause the video and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for part B, we have six bananas for £3.24 or nine bananas for £5 and four pence. So to compare these two offers, I'm going to convert each cost into pence. So we can have six bananas for 324 pence or nine bananas for 504 pence. And again, we need a common number of bananas. So I'm going to choose the cost of one banana. So we'll divide the six by itself to make one. We'll do the same to the cost. And 324 divided by 6 is 54. So 54 pence for one banana. For the other offer, we'll divide the 9 by itself. And 504 divided by 9 is 56 pence. So in this case, you can see it is better value. You're paying 2 pence less per banana using this offer here. So six bananas for £3.24. Okay, so now do you want to try question C? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So now we have 250 sheets for £1.30 or 600 sheets for £3.6. Pence. And again, I'm going to write each ratio as the cost of one. So the cost of one sheet and I'll write the cost in pence. So 130 pence, and I want to work out one sheet. So we'll divide the 250 by itself. We'll do the same to the cost. We'll divide this by 250, and this will give us 0.52 pence per sheet. And in our other offer, we have 600 sheets at a cost of 306 pence. So we'll divide both by 600. And we can see that one sheet has a cost of 0.51 pence. So in this case, buying 600 for three pound six is a better offer. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay, so in this question, we've been told that flour is sold in three different sizes. We have small, where we have 750 grams for 85 pence, medium, where one kilogram is one pound five pence, or large, where it's 2.4 kilograms for two pound and four pence. And we've been asked to work out the size which is the best value for money. Okay, so do you want to try this question yourself? You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So I've written the three ratios, 
and we can see that the small is 750 grams with a cost of 85 pence. So we'll work out the cost of one gram by dividing this by 750. We'll do the same to the cost, divide that by 750, and this will give us one gram is 0 0.11 pence. For the medium, we need to convert the one kilogram into grams. So we know 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. So this is 1,000 grams here. And this has a cost of 105 pence. So we'll divide both by 1,000. So we have a cost of one gram will be 0 0.105 pence and finally for the large we'll convert this into grams which will give us 2.4 times a thousand which is 2400 at a cost of 204 pence we'll divide this by itself we'll do the same to the other side so the cost of one gram will be 0 0.0 so we can see that the larger pack has a better value. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.